Something big just happened in our universe, October 18, 2022. Drop a thumbs up, well, subscribe if you're new. Astronomers were recently treated to a once-in-a-lifetime event. One of the brightest explosions in space was captured by space and ground-based telescopes on October 9th. According to NASA, these gamma-ray bursts are the most powerful class of explosions in the universe. The most powerful flash of light ever seen from an event that occurred 2.4 billion light years from Earth. <laughs> So the burst of gamma rays... You cannot even compute that number. ...was first detected by orbiting telescopes on the 9th of October, and its afterglow still being watched by scientists across the world. It's believed to have been caused by huge dying stars. It collapsed into a black hole. And how old is that? Because, you know, light takes time to travel. Did that happen just, like, now now? Or did that happen, like, years and years ago, and now we're finally able to witness... Right, because get your head around that, hey? This morning, the afterglow of the burst is made up of X rays scattered by layers of dust within our galaxy. Those images are just incredible. Um, one astronomer I was reading uh, from the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. Uh, Yo, man, she beautiful though. Like, I gotta, I, 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 I know, I know, crazy. Okay, I know, wrong sound effect, but like, but an event like this damn. is the equivalent to getting front row seats at a fireworks show. Uh, just how significant is this? Well, Linda, I mean, this is... I, I love that smile, man. I love that smile. One of the biggest and brightest explosions in space ever recorded by telescopes. It's so bright uh, that scientists and astronomers believe that they're not going to see anything else quite like it potentially for decades. And this all started, this giant explosion started about 2.4 billion light years away. It's been traveling through space for billions of years and then finally reached Earth and the telescopes and sensors uh, in our solar system. Uh, last week, 10 days ago, uh, on or about 10 days ago on October 9th. And so what scientists yeah, what was it was it was it aliens was it the martians uh we need to know man believe happened is that there was this massive explosion of a star likely 30 to 40 times the size of our sun uh and what that explosion was was a supernova explosion a star dying essentially and becoming a black Damn. star and when that happens what you're seeing on your screen right there is that stream of particles uh, that Yo, where the flat earthers at where the flat earth believers at that, that's praying that's praying i want to know like how you guys feel about that too. comes from a supernova explosion uh these are traveling through space at a very high rate of speed linda in the form of x-ray and gamma ray particles linda linda but but seriously what are your honest thoughts on this one do you think that's just like Crazy, right? And those gamma ray particles are known for producing the most powerful explosions in the universe. So that's what this was. And to give you an idea of just how not as powerful not as powerful as this sound though how big and bright it is linda you said that it was uh that one scientist equated it to getting front row seats to a fireworks well i like this analogy one team of researchers are now you know inside their research group are now calling this uh the boat no, I, I like her very much man i like her very much Bruh. i know the subject is kind of serious it's fascinating but 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 listen man i'm a stud muffin right like i just love appreciating beauty bro like i love appreciating uh you know kind of like the goat the greatest of all time well this is their analogy for the boat the brightest of all time and so uh, this really was something that scientists uh, weren't expecting took them by surprise the scientists were well, the winner of the nobel prize in physics and this you is why everybody's like hey guys you know me right yeah i mean damn i get it you gotta smile and shit and smiling is good for health but i mean damn man. john klauser getting the call in walnut creek this morning letting him know that he had won he along with two european scientists discovered the way that particles known as photons can be linked when they're separated by long distances the royal swedish academy of sciences awarded the trio for solving a mystery of the universe that oh, didn't get this baffled Albert Einstein. Hmm, no way. No way. Albert Einstein as well? Bro, for real? Yo, where the Jamaican mama at though? Where the Jamaican mama at? Even Albert Einstein, my God, they didn't even leave Albert Einstein, bro. They didn't even leave Albert Einstein. <laughs> Bruh. Right, good for him. 
Klauser's experiments have to do with particles called photons and how they can be linked even across long distances. The Nobel Committee says the results have had practical applications that have helped develop new technologies over the years in quantum computing, the secure transfer of information, as well as sensing technology. Now, the two other physicists who are sharing the award with him are based at universities in Paris and Vienna. The Nobel Prize Committee says Klauser developed some theories about quantum physics in the 1960s and that two other scientists who are sharing the Nobel Prize with him later built upon his theories to make some groundbreaking discoveries about how quantum mechanics does and does not work. Clauser started his work as a graduate student and at the time his professors told him his theory he was trying to disprove was a lost cause. Oh snap. All my faculty at uh, Columbia, Caltech, um, and you even here at UC Berkeley when I was trying to do the experiments all told me I was crazy, uh, wasting my time. You're crazy! You're lock yourselves in the basement! The Martians are here! The universe is not locally real and the physics? Nobel Prize winners proved it. Wait, what? The universe is not locally real. What does that mean? Not locally real. Bruh. Wrong. Wrong. Uh, like, bro, like what? Elegant experiments with entangled light have laid bare a profound mystery at the heart of reality. Oh, she! Oh, snap! Oh, okay. And this year's Nobel Prize in Physics has been awarded to Alana Spey, John Clauser, and Anton Zeilinger, whose collective works have carried out that test, establishing to most people's satisfaction that Einstein's conventional view of reality is ruled out, that quantum entanglement is real, and more than that, have shown that quantum mechanics and entanglement can be leveraged for applications ranging from quantum computing to quantum... The, the end is nigh, boys. The, the end is nigh. Start praying. Repent now. R repent. Bruh. Repent now. Teleportation. Spectacular results that have both changed our view of reality and whose technological implications are both exciting and profound. The end is nigh, boys. entanglement. Briefly put... Einstein and his colleagues found that, according to the math of quantum mechanics, if two objects interact and then widely separate... If two objects, two people interact, they make a baby, right? Um, but what happens with two objects? Another object, maybe? A subsequent measurement on one of those objects, revealing one or another quality, would have an instantaneous influence on the other object, regardless of the distance between them. Einstein called this strange quantum connection. He called it spooky. Spooky action at a distance. So what, you know, what? what is the problem, yeah? What is the, what is the, what is that? What is that, huh? What is that, huh? You're trying to disprove Einstein. You're trying to say that Einstein was uh, just like a bum around the streets or something like that. Bruh. Crazy and guy, bro. Like, it what? troubled him deeply. His, his straightforward, intuitive belief was that widely separated objects are independent of one another. Strong and independent, okay. But quantum entanglement seemingly denied that by providing an invisible quantum connection capable of linking the distant objects together, or as the name says, entangling them. Einstein could not accept this quantum view of reality. Thank you. Well, you ever wonder how a star is born? Take a look at these stunning images NASA just released. No. Yeah, NASA's James Webb Telescope captured a lush, highly detailed landscape. Bro, this is truly fascinating stuff. This is truly, like, you look at this, it almost looks fake. But it's like, damn, man, it's crazy. Of the iconic Pillars of Creation. We're getting a spectacular new view tonight of the Pillars of Creation. That's a vast cluster of newly formed stars. Researchers hope it helps them revamp their models of star formation. It will also... This looks like a dragon, right? Like, you see that? Like, that's kind of like the face. These might be his wings, right? And that's like his neck. That's the mouth area. That's like the eye. Like, crazy. Truly fascinating. It'll give them a better understanding of how stars burst out of these dusty clouds over millions of years. Just beautiful. That is beautiful. The birth of a star. The pillars of creation. Wow. It's amazing. It's an area where new stars are born. In fact, this is where Craig started. Uh, <laughs> it, it, right about here. 6,500 light years 
from Earth. So here's what's cool. I know I'm going to step out of my light here, but you see these like little red yeah. dots? Yes. Yeah. Those are the new stars. That's where they're kind of bursting out from the clouds. They're made of dust and gas. So uh, that's where it's believed that these stars are coming from. But they're a few hundred thousand years old, which is kind of new in, you know, galaxy. Oh, they're times. young. Yes. Look at that. I'll point to them again while, while it's she It's fascinating. Now. It looks like something out of somebody's imagination, yeah. except it's it real. A new infrared image shot by the James Webb Space Telescope shows the pillars in stunning detail, revealing countless previously unseen stars. Mm. It's far more detailed than the famous view we got. Okay, so this is like 1995, and this is like current air, uh, like right now. So on the left, this is 1995, and this is the same thing. But technology has advanced, so we finally see more stars, and time has passed as well. Absolutely crazy, man. From the Hubble Telescope in 1995. Looks like Daniel. a creature almost. Exactly. Yeah. It almost looks like a drawing. Like, this, this is thing. the you real deal. You posted this on your... your yeah, I posted it on the Instagram, because I, I just thought... My it's gosh. fascinating. Ladies and gentlemen, absolutely crazy stuff. We're in the search for alien life. Click on this video on the screen, and I will see you right there. Subscribe.